Hi guys, this is Adam Jones from London Perch Finder. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in to another video. Um, I'm actually out this afternoon making another video about the Nico rig. So uh, bizarrely, this is a video inside a video. So we've kind of entered into the YouTube twilight zone. Um, basically, I am letting the sun go down a little bit at the moment. It's quite bright out here. Um, it's been a really, really nice day. We've got a couple of hours left of light. And I just want the sun to just dip behind the trees a little bit more before I kind of go to the spots that I know might be holding some fish. Uh, in the meantime, I thought I'd just quickly stop. And based on the last video, it's amazing. Loads of people have been out to buy um, some Z-Man plastics for the first time, which is awesome. Um, but there is a few things that I just wanted to kind of tick off the list of things you need to know about the baits um, so that you don't kind of come across any of the mistakes that I made when I first started getting introduced to Z-Man. Um, and obviously a little bit about maybe some jigging options and some kind of other tips if I can. So first thing uh, to say about Z-Man plastics is keep them in their own packet. Do not mix them with other plastics. Now the reason for this is that they are made from very different material to your standard plastic, uh, kind of melted plastic molded lures that you see on the market. This is made of a Laztec. This is a, a material that is specific to Z-Man as you can see it is super super durable it's very very buoyant and it's the reason that I love fishing it but what it does mean is it doesn't mix with normal plastics if you put them together in a box with a load of your other favorite lures you will be very disappointed to find that they all melt so don't do that these are meant to be super durable they're meant to last you forever uh, so make sure that you keep them in their own packet now the bonus the benefit for uh, keeping them in their own packet is you're going to have a nice organized set of lures you can keep them in like this stick them in the pocket of your vest stick them in a backpack uh, you can get binders for them um, but like I said keep them in their own packets and you will be fine um, also there are loads of options on the jig head range with Z-Man uh, we've got TT lures uh, they make some really nice shrooms uh, they also make some really nice jig heads that have got specific keepers for keeping these Elaztec baits on the hook. So you've got these kind of metal keepers here that kind of help you hold the Elaztec to your jig head. Uh, worth looking at, so these are TT lures jig heads um, and there's also TT lures kind of shrooms that look a little bit like the finesse shrooms from Z-Man. Um, you've also got the latest member of the shrooms family which is the power finesse shrooms. You can see on this side this is a finesse shrooms. It's a much smaller hook, much thinner gauge hook, uh, and is also not as long in the shank. Uh, this is a much thicker gauge hook um, with a much longer shank that's going to come out in a slightly different part of the bait. Comes in all of the same kind of size ranges, weight ranges, uh, but just a nice little different option for maybe rigging a larger hula stick as opposed to a finesse TRD. Um, so worth having a few of these in the box as well. Um, like I said, I'm out making his uh, Nico rig video at the moment, so I'm not going to go into the Nico rigging options. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a head up, heads up on those things. Hopefully this is useful. Um, like I said, thanks very much for watching my YouTube channel. Really appreciate it. Really enjoying that you're enjoying watching my videos. I'm certainly having a whale of a time making them. I uh, hope you're having fun on the bank. Hope you're hatching, catching lots of great fish. If you've got any questions, send me a message on Instagram. Uh, but if you've liked these videos and you want to see more, there are more coming. Please like and subscribe and I'll be getting up my Nico Rig video soon. So thanks very much. Hope you're having a good week, guys. And uh, I'll speak to you soon.